Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. Back in the deep, deep depths of Subnautica today, and last time we left off in one of these underground caves where we have come across another Degassi base look. So first things first, I'm not sure where we really came from. I think we came from above, didn't we? Not that we can really see anything there now. Oh, more of those eel things. So, let's explore this Degassi base, shall we? So we need a way in for... Oh my god. That was, uh, that was terrible. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to repair this ship. Because I'm a terrible, terrible pilot. Uh, stay in it for the moment. We need to try and keep our oxygen high. Because we are quite deep, so we will run out fairly quickly. Once we're in there. Was oh, that a... Is that a something? Something that can be scanned. Or a power cell charger. Okay, well, it's a little bit of titanium we don't need, I don't think. And our inventory's full, so yeah, we can, must be relatively full. But we'll get rid of it for now. At least now we know we've uh, been here. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Not what I wanted to do at all. So, we are looking for a way into the base. Ah, there it is by the look of it. There it is. So we shall leave the Seamoth about there, so it's nice and close to the base. Immediately, there's a PDA entry down there. Voice log 5. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. Oh, I pay we're going to get stung. A fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay Definitely you. Definitely going to get stung. If money makes the hierarchy... Why is Marguerite making the decision? Oh, we didn't. We Go need us. Her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. Hello. What if she does it? Scannable. For enough money, she will. <gasps> A Maybe water filtration more. machine. Give me that machine. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That I need. Another PDA there. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. There's another one there. Let's not get that back yet. On the island, I might just jump I back. I believe the creatures that live down here. Why are you over there? They glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly... It's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But by I've eating random plants, you stupid child. Plants. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they would. Do I have in my inventory? I've been a lot of those things. Document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm Nothing just much, really, just fun. titanium and seeds. Without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way... Oh, he's talking a lot. Observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Gives you the fuzzies. You're a weird child, but I kind of like you. Okay, there's another PDA there. Location uploaded to PDA. Oh. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. Oh. She needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family so where is that supposed to be? different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, 
a mortal. A maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us hmm. deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me. We all talk all so much. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing That's what I'm on about. I done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> oh, I assume he's almost done. So he gave us new PDA data. Oh there we go, okay, it's on our on our now it's there. I was gonna say it mentioned it in the uh in the speech, but it didn't actually add a location for it, but it has now. We can't go down to 500 meters, of course. We'll go across first, shall we? Which is uh, going to be a bit of a problem. I'm assuming... I don't know if the Seamoth even can go down that deep. I'm guessing the Cyclops, as he's mentioned it specifically in that video, uh, in that video, in that log, can. There's nothing in here, just a little, little cubby hole area. Weird. Let's see there's a PDA there, so let's grab that. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. We already had that. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. Do you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all Ooh. the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. Oh, nice. If you do, a whole be thing. mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Oh, nice! And this, we've got one final blueprint. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Oh my god, that was close. Well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, oh, hello. her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heap. Do I need a battery? Fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, this that hurt. is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. Is that more platforms? What's the point in surviving here? No, mushroom things. We have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Containment unit, you say? Oh. More stuff over here. It doesn't know there's anything there, though, does it? No. In fact, does that look really familiar, or is that just me? Oh, there is something there. Is there? No, it's just the label on the box. Okay, there is nothing there. Take it back. Well, that was a nice little trip anyway. So we got a, a a water refinery, most importantly. We also got the observatory blueprint, which is lovely. That looks class. What's that over there? I did start Steam VR before starting the game today. It does seem to be running a little better. I wouldn't say it's running spectacularly. 
So there's just a lot of stuff going on here, really, isn't there? So we haven't been here before, but we had for a second. First aid kit. Definitely don't need a first aid kit. We've got many, many of those. Nothing really around, is there? Nothing worth scanning or anything. Looks like that broke off. I wonder if that is just a ceiling up there, or if there's something further up. Well, it is on a foundation, I guess. That sounded like a leviathan. I'm also a bit confused as to which way I came from now. Did I come from over here? Yes. No. There's no big crate there. That's a different one again. Oh my god, there's so much down here. Is that a plant? Yes, it is. Have I seen those before? I don't know. They look weird. Oh, they're not scannable. A regress shell, okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Ship. Oh, Reaper's Plight's got a name. I should use its name, shouldn't I? It's mean otherwise. Thank you, Reaper's Plight. Keep an eye out for anything else that's... I mean, really, we're looking for more bases, I guess. That's the only other thing that would really interest us down here. So aside from that, we are full to the brim with stuff, aren't we? So maybe if we can see a way out, that wouldn't hurt entirely. Oh, I like that look. Oh, I was going to say that was perfect. And then we had to clip that thing there. Oh, we're right next to... Uh, out of the way, big mouth. Interesting. I'm sure we've done this one, haven't we? I'm sure we have. It looks all nice and familiar, doesn't it? Not like I can see a way inside to verify. Okay, we might have to pop inside just to make sure we have been here. If we can find a way in, we'll do that. Although right now, that's proven to be a little trickier than I actually thought it might be. Huh. Maybe we haven't been in here. Maybe it's almost impossible to get into. Ah, hold up. Nope. Not in there. As likely as that looked. Let's pop back in the sea moth. Take our safety blanket with us. It's got to be this lower section somewhere. It's normally around the ends, but... We can't go in that, can we? That is just a... No, that's not anything. What's that in the corner over there? Just, just the sand. Just the sand. How do we get in this thing? Maybe we don't. Maybe it's just a random piece of wreckage. Wreckage. Which would be unusual. But okay, let's not waste any more time on that then. No, nothing obvious is coming out to me. So let's jump back in here. So we need to pop back to base to drop off all of this lovely stuff we've got. Hey! Reef back. Love them. Love the reef backs. Ah, seven. Yeah, 17 we've definitely been in. Okay. So almost certainly we have either been in there or previously discovered that it is un. Unpen impenetrable. That's the word I'm looking for. Cool, cool, cool. So we need to build the water refinery. 
wonder if that gives us bottles, or if we need to make the bottles still. Guess we'll find out. Might need to build another room as well to house it in. Oh, I suppose we can use that. Maybe we... I don't know if we can use that room. We'll find out. All new and exciting. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. So we had not the deep... Not the alien. We are kind of like that one, but that one's full. Right, so we do have three of those at the moment. I might just see if I can throw those in the... Right, because that's more health stuff. I don't want to use more health stuff up. Well, let's throw them in there for now. There's a little bit of space. And we've got some titanium. Which we're actually doing all right with for once. I'll say for once. And we've got a little bit of lead which can go into metals one. Yes. Right, then we need to drink some water. So we need some standard water, but that's going to be up the other end. Over here, we have our battery container. All right, so let's go back to food. Oh, we don't have any water. We do have some bladder fish. Let's just take all the bladder fish and let's go water crazy. So I do have those two disinfected waters on me, but I'm trying to save those for the trips out. They do give you a little bit extra water, so it means if we go out and run out of water, we can last a little bit longer on our journeys. So I guess the next thing we can really aim for is to get a Seamoth built and get the... Well, I suppose it would be helpful if we could find out what the Seamoth Mark II depth module does. See if we can do that first, see if it tells us in the blueprints or in the modification station. Right, so that's plenty of water, so we can drink a couple of those just to keep us ticking along for now. And we'll stick the rest in there. Right, to the modification station. Um, survival, air tank, fin, propulsion, seamoth upgrades. Doesn't say we can or can we do it. We need magnetite. I'm not sure if we've got magnetite. Um... Where is the... no... blueprints? This menu is terrible in VR. I do wish they would do something about it. Menus are really... I'd mentioned it very early on, but I've not really mentioned it for a while. But menus are the only thing really which do pose any sort of problem. It doesn't say... There is a depth module mark 3 which we could do as well. The only issue would be is if we lose it. That's a, that is, and the plasteel and the enamel glass would be frustrating to lose. But it's easily doable, on the other hand. Let's take a quick look at our minerals. No, metals too. That's what I was after. So we do have enough magnetite. What does it take to make enameled glass? Just glass and a stalker tooth. And glass is, where's glass? Just two quarts. Do we have two quarts? I might do the Mark II. Let's see how deep it goes. It's going to need to go to 600 though, really, isn't it, realistically? So we might need to do the Mark III, which means we're going to need three rubies, which I think is all of our rubies, pretty much. I think that's in the deep box. We have four, I guess. But still needs to be done at some point. We just can't really afford to lose it at that stage. So that's one thing we can do, which we don't need to worry about building the Cyclops quite yet, which is both good and bad, I guess. Both good and bad. Not that it'd be a bad thing to have the Cyclops, I would quite look forward to it. But before that, there's the observatory, I like that. Very low structural integrity. Um, scan room, moon pool, multi purpose room, what am I looking for? Interior pieces, water filtration, aerogel, what the hell is aerogel? What the hell is Aerogel? An alien containment is the other one we would really, really like, but we do not have currently. Battery charger, locker, power cell charger. Two things that would be vaguely useful, but not massively necessary, I guess. I don't think we have any copper, do we? I don't think we have any copper. 
Okay, well, let's pop down the interior water filtration. Let's go see where we can put it. Ah, we can put it in here. Interesting, interesting. So I might put it there, because I don't think we're going to have it all. Oh, if we put it there... Let's put it there. So three titanium, copper wire, and aerogel. So the three titanium we can definitely do. Let's take it from the other container. One, two, three. Uh, copper. I think we are out of copper, though. Oh, no, we've got a little bit. Maybe two for a copper wire? Let's find out. Yeah, two for copper wire and then aerogel. A gel sack and a ruby. Okay. I think we can do that. Definitely got a ruby. Oh, and there's a gel sack. Perfectly. Perfect. Aerogel. So let's see how this works. Because I do not know. Oh, so it's just going to stack up with four waters, is it? So do you don't need to give it anything? It just connects to the outside world, I guess. And automatically, I wonder if that does have any uh, anything on the outside to show that it's there. Oh, it does. Oh, cool. So does just suck it in from the outside. That's awesome. Okay then. Right. So I guess next we want to take a look at the depth module Mark II, don't we? So plasteel, we've got magnetite, we've got enameled glass is the only thing we need. Uh, do, 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 do. Minerals, we will take two quartz. We need three magnetite. We'll take three out. We need a plasteel, which is a little bit of a shame. And we need one of these. Yes, yeah, stalker teeth. I think just the one. So we need to make glass. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me, I came out of nowhere. Oh dearie me. And then enameled glass. And that should be it. And all we need then is the depth module mark one. Cool. Let's see how deep this lets us go. Probably not deep enough. My guess would be this would do 400, and the next one will do 600. Well, that's 500. Well, that's very close. So we could probably get there and then just flit in and out quite a lot. But I imagine we're going to run out of oxygen very quickly. What I would like to do before that, I think, is maybe look at getting... Not the torpedo... Hull reinforcement. Four diamond. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's... Well, okay. Well, first of all, let's go check the radio, see if we do have any... Anything going on? No, we don't. Well, let's grab a health kit while we're here. That's empty now, isn't it? Yes. Excellent. Oh, Brent did clear up how the uh, growth beds work. So they don't... You won't grow more in there, but when you harvest them using the knife, he said... You will get more than you put in. Deep shroom spores. Oh, they'll grow. So we took two, and we've got lots of spores. We don't actually have the deep shrooms, but I guess that kind of makes sense. 
So we can just fill this up with planted ones. Go away. Go away. Go away. Don't want to do that. So we just harvest all of these. And then plant the spores. That's not what I wanted to do. Then we'll have a full thing then. So we have increased the amount available to us. That's now full. So I'll go see if I can put the rest of these in the bioreactor. Because they are a bioorganic material. Oh, we can. Cool. Oh, they don't go anywhere. I don't think it actually uses it. There we go. How's this doing? Nothing yet. Cool. Alright, so we need to get some food in our buller. How are we doing for time? 27 minutes. So let's get a bit of food and then we'll start the journey. But I'm not going to use my nice battery. I'm just going to pick up some fish as we go. There should be. Where is my gravitonium ball thing? Not gravitonium. That is, um, oh my God, that's dangerous. What are you playing at, grab ball? Oh, copper. That's what I, sort of what I was hoping for. Um, yes, grab ball. You've gone done and messed up there is what you've done. I do not want you to capture sodden stalkers. Where did that Gary fish go? Okay. We'll just get a couple more. That should do us for now, shouldn't it? That should do us. Can't believe we got a stalker. Oh, stalker managed to escape and we got ourselves a peeper instead. Cool. Oh, they're growing quite nicely already, look. So we should probably plant something else in the other one. Not sure what would be useful at the moment. Cook us up some peepers. We're going to need like four, maybe four things. So that might be enough. Let's have a look. Cook. Consume, consume, consume. Oh, we only needed two. Well, we'll have another one while we're there. And then we shall put these two boomerangs in there. We're going to need a couple more waters. And that will probably do us. Oh, and we are also heart. So we could probably do with using a med kit before we go anywhere. So we'll take one of those as well. Cool, right. I think then it's time for us. Well, I might just stick a save in just in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. I don't really want to lose the depth module. So if we immediately come across a stalker, All how are we doing? 29 minutes. We've got a couple of minutes. We'll make our way there. See how close we can get. This will be a depth record for us though. And it's going to be a little bit tricky maintaining maintaining an investigation around the area. Just because I imagine our oxygen is going to absolutely plummet. And that's something we could do with getting rid of. Looks like a grav ball, so I'm very sure we've already got it. That's a bioreactor, okay. We've got that anyway. We'll grab that, and I saw some quartz there. We'll grab the quartz whilst we're here. Oh, I didn't drop that copper and stuff in, did I? No matter. So we are getting very much above it now. So we could do with finding a way into a cave? No, not there. I wonder if it's even in a cave. I'm assuming it's in a cave. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is just very, very deep. What is that? 
Oh lordy. Oh lordy. What on earth do we have here? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Scan, scan, scan. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency Anchor points. decreased. I was wondering if you could unanchor them. That's apparently not the way it works. Is that a new fish? No. What was that? Oh, it's because I'm too hot. So I'm near that. Yes, because that's some sort of like. Clearly, some sort of horrible vent. Where's my. Oh. Just for a second, I thought I'd lost it. So, again, this is remarkably close to my base. How far away am I? Less than a kilometre. And it's already very weird and new. I do love this game. I do love this game. Right, I'm not sure I've come across this before either. This unusual looking thing. No, that's also new. Give that a good old scan. Membrane tree. I like it, it's very cool. Right, let's continue going down then, I guess. Oh, we look, we are deeper now than we have ever been before. How cool is that? We can't go much deeper though. So we'll have to be careful. More of the teleporters around. We do have to get in there. I'm not sure how we do that at the moment. Or do we? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's right there amongst those ridiculous things. So we need to keep this above 500 meters or we will immediately... Oh, look how close that is. So it's not actually going any faster. That's a problem. That's a problem, mate. What are you doing that for? Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. PDA. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? Swim charge fins. You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biomass Hello, mate. would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. You look different. Did you have four eyes before? Do? Turn us inside out. Oh no. Dissolve us into jelly. It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Coffee Every vending machine. On this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Yes. You know what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials, equipment. Just, can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Hello to you as well. Okay, yep, nope, bad. That's bad for us. Where on earth? Oh, there it is. Up, 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 up. That's bad. That's bad. Um. Repair, 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 repair. And that'll keep that going a bit longer. Then we need to find a way upstairs. Which apparently there isn't. I might have to just go away for a moment, I think. How the hell do we get upstairs? Ah, over here, look. Oh, there's also a PDA over there. Let's grab that. Yeah, I am fairly damaged. I don't want to die. So we're going to just run away for the moment and have to come back next time 
Oh, is it still on my? Oh, it still be available on my um. Oh, you know what I'm saying? PDA stuff. Beacons. That's what I'm looking for. It'll still be available on Beacon. Hello? The hell is that? And can it be scanned? Yes, hopefully it's not dangerous because I'm quite low health. Sea Treader Leviathan. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like that. Gold something. Whilst we're here. Diamond, gold, quartz. Alien feces? Alright, yeah, I'll have some of that. Quartz. Quartz. We may as well stock up on a little bit of stuff whilst we're here. Not that I can really see anything else. Alright, so we need to start heading back towards base. Which is this way. And cool, so that's been about 40 minutes, so I am going to leave that there. Next time we will turn on our beacon for that Degassi base. Oh, it's still there. We don't need that one anymore, but we'll leave that one on. Or do we need that one? Is that a new one, perhaps? Is that still on? That might be a new one we've not been to yet. So we'll leave that one on as well, just in case. We'll have to go check that at some point. Yeah, I don't know. It might be the same. It looks fairly close, doesn't it? But yeah, so I'm just going to head back to base, going to drop off this stuff that I've got, get some more uh, med kits so we can survive a bit longer. I don't know what else we can do about surviving the teleporters necessarily. I'm not sure really what a viable method of getting away from those is. If you do have any uh, suggestions, do leave them down below. It'll be very, very useful. I'm going to pop back. I might just off camera go back and check this one just to see if it's actually something we need or not. Otherwise, I will continue back to base. So, yes. If you've enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. That is genuinely very, very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And of course, as I say, any questions or comments or anything like that, anything useful, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget we're streaming Wednesdays at 6pm. Oh, what's this? Wednesdays at 6pm, so I think this is out before this Wednesday, so we'll be continuing on with Hellblade. And it may be the second and final part, so do come along and see how that plays out. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Subnautica. I was going to call this Sea Nautica for a second. I'll see you next time in Subnautica. And as always, thank you very, very much for joining me.